Reflect on the Pantheon, which is recognized as one of the greatest of buildings. Its grandness has many facets. It is the realization of a conviction that a building could be dedicated to all religions and that this ritual-free space can be given expression. It presents a belief of a great man which led to its design as a non-directional domed space. If architecture may be expressed as a world within a world, then this building expresses it well, even refining it by placing the oculus, the only window, in the center of the dome. This building has no precedence. Its motivation was clear and full of belief. The force of its wanting to be inspired a design equal to its desire in form. Today, building needs an atmosphere of belief for the architect to work in. Belief can come from recognizing that new institutions want to emerge and be given expression in space. New beliefs come with new institutions that need to be expressed as new spaces and new relationships. The architectural realizations sensitive to the institution's particular form would set a new precedent, a new beginning. I do not believe that beauty can be deliberately created. Beauty evolves out of a will to be that may have its first expression in the archaic. Compare Pestum with the Parthenon. Archaic Pestum is the beginning. It is the time when the walls parted and the columns became, and when music entered architecture. Pestum inspired the Parthenon. The Parthenon is considered more beautiful, but Pestum is still more beautiful to me. It presents a beginning within which is contained all the wonder that may follow in its wake. The column as a rhythm of enclosure and opening and the feeling of entering through them to the spaces they envelope is an architectural spirit, a religion which still prevails in our architecture today. A space can never reach its place in architecture without natural light. Artificial light is the light of night expressed in positioned chandeliers not to be compared with the unpredictable play of natural light. The places of entrance, the galleries that radiate from them, the intimate entrances of the spaces of the institution form an independent architecture of connection. This architecture is of equal importance to the major spaces, though these spaces are designed only for movement and must therefore be designed to be bathed in natural light. This architecture of connection cannot appear in the program of areas. It is what the architect offers the client in his search for architectural balance and direction. The client asks for areas. The architect must give him spaces. The client has in mind corridors. The architect finds reason for galleries. The client gives the architect a budget. The architect must think in terms of economy. The client speaks of a lobby. The architects bring it to the dignity of a place of entrance. Architecture deals with spaces, the thoughtful and meaningful making of spaces. The architectural space is one where the structure is apparent in the space itself. A long span is a great effort that should not be dissipated by division within it. The art of architecture has wonderful examples of spaces within spaces, but without deception. A wall divided a dome space would negate the entire spirit of the dome. The structure is a design in light. The vault, the dome, the arch, the column are structures related to the character of light. Natural light gives mood to space by the nuances of light in the time of the day and the seasons in the year as it enters and modifies the space.